This drug has been approved under emergency use authorization since late last year, but supply was extremely limited until now. Doctors say vaccination is the final frontier in the fight against COVID, but some who are immune compromised are still vulnerable to severe infection even after getting the shot. When you're vaccinated, your own body makes antibodies, some of which recognize spike and then some of them will then stop the virus from infecting you. If you're immunocompromised, your body doesn't make those antibodies. But now there's a new drug to give those people those antibodies directly. It's called Evusheld, made by AstraZeneca and under emergency use authorization. It's a shot like the vaccines, but it gives patients a cocktail of two different antibodies, and it helps prevent those most at risk for severe disease or death from getting COVID. It's for a limited number of eligible individuals. It's not for everyone in the in the state. And we really rely heavily on providers who know about their patients who have these conditions to, to, to particularly reach out to them and say, hey, I know that you have this problem. We think you should, I think you should get out of your show. Dr. Haft says it's designed for people 12 and up who are moderately to severely immune compromised, like transplant recipients or cancer patients. If you think you might qualify, ask your doctor. They're asking their provider to do a referral. We send out a weekly list to all of the healthcare providers in the state of where Evusheld is available, who's stocking it in their hospital or in their clinic. Dr. Haft says the state has ample supply for anyone who needs it. The protection lasts six months and is anywhere from 70 to 90 percent effective at keeping these folks from getting severely ill with COVID. It keeps you protected and then if you get infected, it helps control that infection and keeps it from getting more severe. There's a list of providers that have Evu shelled online. We've placed a link on our website, WBALTV.com. Reporting live in Midtown, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11.